Good evening folks and welcome to uh, episode 10, uh, the big one zero, shall we say. Um, kind of finally made it to episode 10, which is quite cool. Uh, kept going, thanks for all the support. Um, <clears throat> this is the first nocturnal um, episode uh, in the dark. Uh, I had every intention of getting up at sort of silly o'clock this morning and try to do it first thing, but never <laughs> it never came off. I was kind of still in bed half eight so <laughs> then had to work so um <clears throat> I thought why not and uh, hope the lighting's okay so I seem to have like 10 little lights and no big main lights so <laughs> I've got all my little lights up <laughs> and I think it's fine I've checked um and it seems fine so we shall go with it so this is episode 10 and uh episode 10 there you go keeping with tradition and uh this one has been named this episode two sandwich thins in the freezer or something like that um, and that's by Finn Boland some of you may know um, and Finn has started his own YouTube channel doing some drawings and stuff Finn's only 14 uh, so if you go on to fab art you can find Finn's uh, YouTube channel um, so yeah, check it out and uh, thank you Finn for that. I think he's trying to say I'm two sandwiches short of a picnic or something because uh, I don't tend to, <laughs> to, to eat these sandwich thins. I buy in bulk and keep them in the freezer and then just defrost them. And funnily enough tonight I'm having some. So, But I digress for sure. But anyway, that's what it's called. Thank you Finn for that. Um, let's pop that down there and uh, later on at the end of the show I'll do the uh, little draw for whoever retweeted to win my spare um, working men's club album debut album so we'll do it at the end so uh, let's get on with it without further ado and uh, this record this took those real was brought from Piccadilly Records I've uh, been there before I think we've had a reveal from Piccadilly before um, always well stocked and always seem to find something um, but I uh, <laughs> just spent my money on um, so uh, I'd, I'd seen, I'd heard of this band and retweeted a couple of the songs and really got round to giving them a listen. So they're always in the kind of the back of my mind. So when I was in there and I saw it, um, I know I had given them a little bit more of a, a bit more of a listen. Thought, yeah, they're um, they're up my street. So let's uh, let's go for it. And uh, I was, you know, so let's uh, I'll, I'll stop nattering <laughs> and open this up. I've had this a few weeks now, but anyway. And today's reveal is upside down, back to front. So don't worry. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Silverbacks with their debut album, Fad. Um, and I paid $16.99, which is uh, very reasonable for an album. Um, first album. Essentially, um, you know, they're releasing it. Um, I'm not sure they released it through or um, I've got into that yet, but um, you know, a, a young band maybe not got loads of cash and kept it simple and very, um, very simple and kept the uh, kept the price down, which is good. Um, you're not paying like an excessive amount to, to own the music, which is uh, really good. And um, I'm first struck by the uh, by the cover, um, which kind of which is, we've got some modern art there. Um, kind of reminds me of um, Keith Haring a little bit. Um, kind of the, the guy who drew the stick people and the dogs and stuff. Uh, kind of colours and this black, these black lines. That looks to be a... Uh, you know, it's like little a miniature, miniature towns you used to get, like a little bit of a Trumpton type of... And you get build them from building blocks, you know, that kind of thing, those coloured building blocks. It kind of reminds me of that. Um, it looks like a bit of a town or something. It looks like the Rotunda there in Birmingham. I suspect it's not, but <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like. But uh, yeah, and there's some block of houses there and a I don't know, house there with a stream coming through. So I quite like that. Interesting stuff. So that's the cover. Um, Silverback sound, nice Helvetica, looks like Helvetic font. Nice and big. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I like that. And on the back, we've got the uh, list of songs, uh, which we've got, I think it's 13 in total. 
yeah, 13 songs in total. And they're listed there nice and big on the back. And they're messing around with this one. Um, and then, so side one, uh, we've got Dunkirk, followed by Pink Tide, followed by Drink It Down, uh, followed by Fad 95, followed by Dud, followed by Club Silberken. It's a club somewhere in Eastern Europe, presumably. Um, and then B-side, we've got Travel Lodge Punk, uh, Just In The Band, Grin, Grinning At The Lid, Muted Gold, Up The Nurses, Madra Yusei, uh, Last Orders uh, to finish off. So some interesting song titles, um, to say the least, and uh, quite an interesting band too. Um, so we shall uh, discuss a little bit about more later on. I'll put my glasses on. Um, a little bit of info down the bottom left here, uh, written by Silverbacks, produced by Daniel Fox and Silverbacks, uh, recorded by Daniel Fox at Sonic Studio, uh, Sonic Studios, mastered by TJ Lipple, art by Cameron Taylor. So, well done Cameron on the art, if that's your style, I'll have to maybe check that out, see if Cameron's got any of her work like this. Interesting. And... Um, 2020 Silverbacks under exclusive license to Central Tones, all rights reserved. Um, and then Central Tones looks like the record company. Um, and we've got this uh, logo there with a C and uh, looks like Saturn going around there. That logo, if you can see that, I quite like that logo. Interesting stuff. Um, Saturn is quite a, a prevalent um, entity on logos. Um, is it CBS? They've got like, you know, all the CBS logos have got Saturn on. Um, and uh, yeah, Saturn's a yeah, peculiar planet, all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Uh, <laughs> I won't get into that. Um, because we've got to, we've got to make haste. Um, and uh, getting inside. Okay, no download code, which might explain why it's slightly cheaper. And then we've got a plain white inner which is fair enough keeping the old costs down letting the music speak for itself so let's get inside see what we've got i can got black vinyl as you can see preaching it's converted there it's very simple um again we've got the um the artwork there in a different colorway uh, which is interesting quite like that section of the uh, cover um, it's just got an A there, which you might just make out to denote the A side. And then B side, unfortunately not lined up, but hey ho. Um, again, we've got the same image again, but just in different colours again. Uh, so I quite like that. It's very plain and simple, and it's uh, followed through from the cover. So it does what it says on the tin. Let's see if there's anything uh, on the runoff, apart from the catalogue number. And the answer is to that is no. Checking. The number on there is 207883E1 slash A. For A side. Okay, so that's that. That's cool. Um, so this is very simple vinyl reveals. Until we get into music, just to talk to you a little bit about uh, the band itself. I'll just put that on the uh, Wayne scares actually. There's a scare. Wait now while we're on the while we're at it okay we've got 130 grams of vinyl again so obviously not your not your heavyweight but that's fine it's their first album I'm trying to get it out there get it listened to and uh, if it's, the price is good uh the more people are more likely to buy it and listen to it at the moment so uh, it's a good thing in my in my eyes um okay silverbacks uh they are a Dublin band, um, a lot of Irish bands about at the moment. I'll just pop that up there. Let's see. Um, notably, well, the last couple of years, and there's been a bit of an explosion of Irish bands like Fontaine's DC, uh, who are on, currently on their second album they've released. Um, Murder Capital, a um, bit of a favourite of mine um, as well. And you've got Sons of Southern Ulster, who's a band I've only just kind of come across. And a, a band from a couple of years ago, Just Mustard as well, which I've kind of listened to and 
really like them. So there's kind of this explosion of Irish bands coming out on the coattails a little bit of uh, Fontaine's DC possibly um, and uh, inspiring people in uh, Dublin to uh, yeah get their music listened to which is really cool and they've uh, all of those bands I've mentioned probably a little bit different in, in their way um, but uh, yeah this, this band um, Silverbacks they've got five members and the members are should run through there's no information on the thing. so it's a good job i did some uh, research on this uh daniel o'kelly who writes the lyrics uh and his brother killian o'kelly um i'm not sure what killian exactly does and figured that bit out uh emma emma hanlon on bass and vocals and and pedar or pedar kearney on guitar and um gary wickham is the drummer so there you go, that's a run through of the guys in the band. And this was originally released on July the 17th of this year. Um, what else have we got? We've got, they've got a kind of, um, the sound is a bit, um, it's traditional rock uh, guitar, uh, indie rock guitar generally. Um, um, but they've done a lot of um, interesting things with it. Um, it's a little bit kind of shades of art rock, a little bit. Um, Sometimes it's not the easiest thing to kind of get your head around, but it's very interesting, um, multi-layered, doing some very interesting things with the way the music's structured, uh, some start stops, this kind of thing, different kind of it goes into something almost like three songs in one in some of these songs, uh, but it's all very interesting. I must admit, and uh, the general sound is quite funky, punky. I'd say it's quite abrasive as well in places, a little bit quirky. Um, in places quite a comedic as well there's um i'll go over that in a minute there's some lyrics in there quite comedic um inventive angular um this kind of thing some unexpected turns some of it's uh, quite a bit of it's like eerily familiar but you can't quite put your finger on it uh, where you've heard this um but it's, it's all good and um, they've got good vocals in there um a good range as well not always the same as um one of the uh, songs which i'll go through uh, they do sound quite like Fontaine's DC, but then they don't really sound like them on the rest, on the rest of the songs. And uh, scat scattered throughout this, um, it's noticeably on the B side, I think, is there's uh, there's some instrumentals. There's three short instrumentals, which kind of give you a bit of a breather. And I really like that. I think that's quite interesting uh, um, in a way. And maybe, you know, they could have gone a little bit longer or been, a, you know, maybe, maybe put another one in there or... This kind of thing but it's, it's interesting all the same and uh, some good stuff um so i should go through i should go through it now brief run through and um this starts with uh dunkirk i'm not sure how many i didn't look into how many eps have had out or what they've brought out as singles so i'm not a bit unsure but i know dunkirk <coughs> is their starter and i think that's got a, a lot of their play one of their their main songs it's one of the best songs on the album um it's quite effusive it's attention grabbing. It's a bit of a roller coaster of ideas, and this is what you get throughout the album. But it doesn't go too crazy, really. Um, there, there are a couple there that you might think not one hundred percent sure about, uh, but generally they've kind of it is on the head here. It's uh, an interesting sound, uh, roller coaster of ideas um, that, that works in the styles. Some plucky guitar. It's got a hypnotic beat, and uh, some wailing, smashing guitar in there too. So you've got a Bit of everything in that opener it so really kind of grabs you and you go you know what this band is kind of about straight away um there's no hiding uh this is what they're going to be uh, a bit kind of oh, what's, what's coming next a bit a little bit which i like on to number three uh drink it down um this is the one that's got kind of the most fontaine's dc-esque uh singing in it i would say um and it's got a really cool lyrics in this and uh this is where the comedy comes into a little bit, but this this bit doesn't. It says, uh, what is to be human? What is it to be pure? I'm edging to something different that burns to the core. It's the sky that's important, not the land, not the shore. It's a sense of belonging as I danced a little bit more. So quite interesting there, really like that. Um, flowy lyrics, um, interesting, uh, gets you thinking. And uh, <laughs> there is the vague kind of quirky figure that just comes completely out of the blue is this uh that wasn't jesus 
Jesus that was just some fucker in a dressing gown. Pardon my French. Uh, Finn, if you're listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't it was your language. I'm really saying that, I don't. That wasn't just, that wasn't Jesus. That was just some fucker in a dressing gown and like just makes you smile really kind of well so god knows what it was about but uh, <laughs> it was really good it was one of their best songs i think um really cool song um yeah that was uh drink it down number three and then we've got another couple of songs there one of them number four fab 95 reminds me of um clap your hands say yeah a little bit and uh, if you've heard of them um it's got that kind of sound um to it uh, number five is the first is dud. That's the first instrumental break. Uh, simple and it kind of could have lasted a little bit longer, I thought maybe. But uh, it bleeds into uh, number six, which is Club Silver uh which is one of their top songs on the album. Um, rated at number nine. It's got the female vocal uh, from the bass player here. Uh, got an effortless feel to it. Um, uh, it's got this line in it: "Don't fight this feeling." Um, repeat his precious time it's kind of there's a bit an interplay between male and female vocals which keeps it interesting um it's almost like like two songs um lovingly needed together i've put in in this and uh, you can dance and sing along to it, this kind of thing uh, they've got a lyric in there one sweet day i'll be right you'll be wrong burning by the wall one sweet day the craft work hits off the disco ball so interesting there um uh, shouting out for another band, uh, Craftwork there, which might be a bit of a, you know, an influence on them in some way, but you don't really get that over. But as, as I say, it's more structured, um, more traditional, um, not much like symphony and stuff like that. But what they've done with the guitars and what they've done with the drums is kind of it's interesting enough. So uh, it's very interesting stuff. After that, they've got another Travel Lodge Punk. That's cool. It's another instrumental. Um, it's eerie. It's rubbing. It's got feedback. Um, again, I almost wish it was maybe a little bit longer, perhaps. But, uh, and then eight, nine, again, you've got some energy there, a lot of energy throughout this album. Um, um, find a number nine, Grinning at the Lid. I'll put a fine example of experimentation again, experimenting with, experimenting with sounds here, the way the strings are structured. Uh, it's in interesting stuff, not really heard anything quite like this. Um, number 10, uh, Muted Gold. Uh, Again, there's a lot going on, but it's finely sculpted. I thought uh, a bit David Bowie-ish. I thought on the kind of lyrically um, on the the singing, um, it's got a, like a submarine type alert chime, chime going through it uh, and a Glockenspiel. So we've got some you know interesting uh, interesting stuff going on there. Um, number eleven, up the nurses, another good song. Um, female lead again, the sort of blonde esque. I felt. Um, there's a line in there you don't you don't even know kind of repeated which is nice um number 12 um another instrumental again it's short slightly bluesy acoustic number this again different all the um all the little um instrumental there's been a little bit different nothing the same about them completely different which i quite like uh, just you know quite interesting how they were laid throughout maybe Put one a little bit earlier in, I thought maybe, but uh, um, interesting all the same. Um, and 13 is Last Orders, the last song, and more more juxtaposed styles again. Uh, we've got the same thing, it's a good last song, uh, with Last Orders at the bar is a lyric that's in it. Um, so this is this is interesting, it's, um, uh, I like it, it's it's an interesting album. So there's like a couple on there, I'll be like, not, not sure if I've, if I've had enough of this style of but, but, uh, at points but it is very different to anything else i've heard and uh as i say if you like uh, a little bit of art rock and like to be uh intrigued a little bit and uh, sort of uh what's what's the word sort of challenged a little bit musically yeah but this is a good one and the the, the major songs throughout it up the nurses um we've got club silver ruckin um uh, great song and dunkirk they are really really great songs and um, drink, drink it down another great song too so scattered throughout those have got some really great songs and a lot of the other songs are you know they're interesting too and never a dull moment uh, on this album so yeah that's it i should I'd give it a try I'd definitely give it a try uh, get on um yeah get on get online and listen to it and uh make your own mind up but uh no i really like it silverback's fat um and uh, a lot of you know a lot there's a lot to build on i would say 
<laughs> and uh, but they're going in the right direction. As I say, they don't really sound like any of the other Irish bands that are around, or anybody I've particularly heard too much. Um, they do some uh, some uh, quirky, interesting things uh, uh, in the name of indie. So let's keep them all that. So anyway, so that's uh, that's for today. I shall pop that on at the end. But um, let's do the quickly do the uh, draw for the for this my leftover. Um, show you again, just in case you think of. Yeah, one of my leftover um, Workmen's Club album. So I've got all the people who retweeted and followed the um, YouTube channel in here. Let me see. Oh god, one's fell out. Two's fell out. Anyway, we're all in here. So let's draw one out. A good rummage around. Okay, this will do. And uh, the winner appears to be Dermot. So <laughs> I know Dermot. Um, so congratulations, Dermot. Uh, if you've got this album or not, but uh, um, let me know. You are the winner of it. Thank you very much, um, and uh, I shall uh, catch you again on episode 11, so I'm going to keep going. I've got um, several records to uh, get through, uh, some exciting ones coming up, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe beginning, maybe even the weekend, some kind of free the weekend, so hopefully the weekend there might be another episode, episode 11 will be coming up, hope you've enjoyed it, uh, a good album here, great album, uh, a little bit different, it'll be interesting. Uh, give it a go and I'll just pop it on now and uh, say cheerio and take care.